Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Eric Jones number 20 sports clips Bush Clash race win from 2020. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you can see, once again, have the brand new 2020 race version box. Got the NASCAR Cup Series logo on the front. Got the checkered flag pattern. Got the winner sticker and raced version. Down the side, you got 2020 race winner, 2020 Bush Clash at Daytona champion. Got to render the car right there. Standard finish. They made a total of 1,032 of these things. NASCAR Cup Series, standard finish. Got the winner sticker. Got the Knott's 2020 race schedule on the back of the box. I still cry every time. Got 20 action racing collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Now let's get down to the car itself. The first 2020 Cup Series race version and already the most anticipated and awaited one. Eric Jones wins the clash in a car that might have DNF'd in somewhere else. <laughs> that race was such a pathetic mess of a race. The first 90% of the race was basically a Daytona 500 test session when nothing happened. And then the last like 10 laps was everyone is dead. Wrecks everywhere. I don't think there's a single car in the field that didn't get involved in a wreck. Just it went to shit. Even that like you had that restart where there was a restart and like half the field wrecked on a restart for no reason. <laughs> like I don't know where this race got like voodooed, but whatever. Anyways, this course does come with a few things. You have your little new 2020 gray silver winner sticker. It's funny they even include this since this isn't a race that gets a winner sticker, but that's kind of neat. And there, of course, is your race winning stack card, which does have a Lionel Air. Apparently, Eric Jones got involved in multiple wrecks and still led every single lap of the race. If that isn't pure domination, I don't know what is. That should be in the Hall of Fame right there. There's the bio on the race if you want to read it. But now let's get down to the car itself. And as you can probably tell already, this car is very, 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 very damaged. <laughs> Said he got involved in multiple wrecks. They repaired the car. <clears throat> and then on the last restart, you had Denny Hamlin also with a destroyed car, a lap down, pushing him to the victory. So that race will go down in history for all the wrong reasons, but it led to a very unique raced version diecast here. And Lionel did a fantastic job of recreating this. You know, a lot of people are always kind of scared when it comes to, you know, decal damage, but as far as all this tape and stuff on the front, this looks good. Lionel did a very good job of that. But we'll get to that later. First, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Sports Clip Haircuts. It would say Toyota Camry XSE, and would have a Joe Gibbs Racing logo right there, as well as a 20 right there. Down the side, you have Sports Clips Haircuts. Got Reese's Fine Foods. Front of the rear wheel, you got Interstate Batteries, Mac Tools, Sports Clips, Sherwin William, Mobile One, Lincoln Welders, Seaman, MSU, Freightliner, and uh, what's that little like Panther logo? On the C post, you have DeWalt, and on the B post, you have a Toyota logo and JD Gibbs. You, of course, have Eric Jones' name on the name rail. As you can see, this does also have the roof hatch decal. Has your regular contingencies and such. Not much to talk about there. On the back, you have Toyota Camry XSE Sports Clips Haircuts, number 20. On the deck lid, you have Help a Hero. And on the roof, you have Sports Clips Haircuts. This is number 950. Said so they made a, over a 1,000 of them, so this definitely had a high number. Probably the highest an Eric Jones car has ever been produced. Anyways, you got the same stuff down the other side. Let's take a look under the hood. See, it says Mobile One and Toyota under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid, roof flaps of course still do open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to the part everyone's waiting for and that is all the damage because this is probably one of the most damaged race versions we've ever gotten. As I've already shown multiple times, you of course have the front. You got involved in so many wrecks, they taped the hell out of this front, taped the hood down completely. You wouldn't even be able to open the hood as you can see right there. It's funny that up here, it looks like even though these little, like, hood flaps are taped down, I thought you couldn't do that. I thought that was illegal because they're safety devices, so you can't really tape them down ever. I don't know. But that damage looks fantastic. Got, like, straight-up duct tape, got some bear bond, got it all crumpled up, especially in the grill area. I forgot exactly what happened. Did he, I think he hit somebody where it, like, crumpled the, you know, down. This was pushed down and then in. 
like I said, Lionel did a fantastic job recreating this with decals. Have to give credit where credit is due. When Lionel really kills something, they do really kill something. And they killed this one. That is amazing. See down the right side, he did hit the wall too. So you have more tape and you have... Luckily, the Goodyear logo is actually scraped off this time instead of some of these cars where Goodyear's like, I guess, demands they have their logo on top of all the damage. I don't know. You can see very nice damage. Down the side is very scraped up and scuffed up. You see even part of the side skirt is torn back. So that looks fantastic. Scraped down the side with a 20. You see the lettering is rubbed off of the right rear tire. More scrapes and scuffs. Even part of the tail light decal is scraped off right there. The back is basically just pretty dirty. Not a whole lot to talk about there. See the left side, it does have a shredded tire if you didn't notice that earlier. Which the lettering is still perfectly on the left rear tire, so that looks a little bit strange, but... See the left side is pretty clean compared to the right side. Still got some dirt marks and such. And then the top is again just dirty. Obviously this is the Clash, so there's no confetti or anything. Just a beautiful, beautiful race win. I believe this is also the only way to get Eric Jones' sports clip car ever. Because most of the sports clips cars always DNP for whatever reason. Like, people just really don't like these cars for whatever reason. This year they even offered Martin Shrek's Jr. and Kyle Busch's. Because Kyle Busch randomly ran one this year, and those still got DNP'd anyways. I think, is this, this might be the only Eric Jones diecast getting released all year, come to think of it. Because even his primary DeWalt car got cancelled, his, like, Irwin Tools car got cancelled, his All-Star car got cancelled. They haven't offered his pathetic excuse for a throwback he's running today. That is definitely the worst throwback of the year, as Eric Jones is. Let's take a Tony Stewart car and change every single color on it. And it's even an obscure Tony Stewart car. Like, why why the lithium Home Depot car? But anyways, that's that's a rant for another day. And if that tie guess gets offered, there's no way in hell it's getting made. Because, again, it looks ugly as hell. But if you want this die cast, it is a brand new release. You can get it right now. As popular as this car is, this is definitely going to get rare. There's no doubt in my mind. It already is disappearing a little bit. This is one of those that was pretty much immediately sold out the second it got released. If you're lucky and you look around, I think Gibbs might still have a couple for retail. Or even Eric Jones' own site might still have a couple for retail. But I'd say I'd get it now if you're looking for this car. Because this is not going to be one of those cars that stays around very long. But having a chance, all there is to say, this has been a review of Eric Jones' Sports Clips Bush Clash winner from 2020. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.